Los Pollos Hermanos, a.k.a. Seattle Warner's Family Channel. <laughs> Listen, I'm looking at the watch. It's December 6th, 2015. It is dark. It is cold and it's raining here in Seattle. But listen what we got. We're going to do our product review. And this is a test and run as you go. Because we ain't used this in like 20 years. It is the Dom VA Frozen Dessert Mixer. See that, Jack? Uh, there's a couple of things that go along with this. There's the lid. There's the container. Obviously, when you buy the Dome V8, you're going to get the manual. And there's all kinds of ice cream concoctions and custards and stuff you can make for ice cream. But we're going to do a little bit uh, shortcut on this. Not only do you have your top, you have your paddle that goes down in it and out in the freezer is the container. I keep it in the deep freeze. It is the way you make a frozen dessert. Let's take a look at our ingredients for tonight. So what I have here is blackberry blackberries. Frozen blackberry bag from the grocery store. Put it on the stove in a saucepan with what? A quarter cup of sugar something like that? Now that's for you to decide. For me, I probably put a third of a cup of sugar in there. I wasn't making a jam, but I let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. And like it boils our manos, we cook it perfectly and it turns and breaks down all those berries into the most wonderful sauce. Here's the other thing we've got. Your standard double container Cool Whip. We're making it light. We're not using a, using a custard. We're making a frozen dessert. We're going to put that in the canister. We're going to put in our blackberry stuff and then we're going to show you how it operates. Let's take a look at this an amazing part of the Don Vier. Okay, this is our frozen canisters. Take a look at that. This has been in the deep freeze. It has a fluid, a type of something in this double walled container. And here it says, so you make sure as you, I'm holding it, do not heat this thing. And do not touch this frozen cylinder with wet hands or you will be stuck like a bug in a rug. And you drop that into that container itself. The next thing on the Dom VA list, I'm going to have help from my daughter, Miss Sam. We're going to start. And now listen to this since we don't know what we're doing. That's the fun thing about live TV. We're going to get our sauce, which we'll probably be going. Take our light, non-dairy stuff. So let's say, let's say you are lactose intolerant. Maybe you can eat this, and you won't have a blot at the backside if you were eating the cream or something. We're going to put our Cool Whip inside. And again, we are winging this because we haven't used this for 20 years, but it was a wonderful thing. I'm sure we have more than we need of ding dong and no ice no salt no electricity no endless cranking no kidding in less than 20 minutes you have a delicious ice cream frozen yogurt sherbet ices sorbets frozen mixed drinks and more uh, and it's saying right here after you have chilled this sucker in the ding dong. Then you put your ingredients in. Christmas. That's just talking about something. Angle mark and the, there's a mark here. And an, yeah, with that and we're gonna lock something's gonna lock in the top. Uh-huh, there's a, that. And I'm gonna talk should have read this in advance because So it's talking about mostly we need in general the operation. Okay. So we're going to put the go ahead and put it in Cool Whip, and uh, you know we're going to make a, a load here. We'll see what happens in the as it says you're going to put in your 
blended ingredients into the chill fast aluminum cylinder. We'll put the top on, lock the top down. Do we want it full? Hmm? Do we want it full? Uh, well, let's see how that's working. Okay. And uh, you can spoon in some of that dung flu. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. And I put some of the berry in, and then I put some more on top. After we've locked the top down, mm -hmm. we're going to put it down, immediately attach the handle, and turn it clockwise three or four times. Uh, where is the, oh, the little paddle guy? Okay. Let me put this in here. There should be a thing in the bottom. There it is. Okay. There you go. She's going to put the stuff in. And since we haven't done this before, this is all a wing it. The fun part about doing brand new stuff is it coming out however you find it. Comes out. Oh, yeah. And I could, you could probably put more in there. More in there. Eh? And what you're going to do is immediately attach the handle and turn it clockwise slowly three or four times. Then it's going to sit two or three minutes. And then we're going to turn the handle again two or three times and continue this from 15 to 30 minutes. And if it gets difficult when you're turning, too frozen, you turn it backwards, turn it backwards, and we're going to see how it works out. How do you feel about this? Oh, yeah. What do you want me to do? Anything yet? No, I'm just going to use a fork and, like, push it down. Oh, yeah. And I was thinking maybe we'd use half of this and one and a half of the, uh, one and a half of the, the cream brulee. But again, we're just testing it out. It could be good, it could be too sweet, it could be not sweet enough. A product review, I don't know. I'm not really sure how this locks down. We're surely going to find out here in just a jiffy. And then I'm going to top it. That's okay. Top it off with this? Well, I'll tell you if you like. I'm good. Soon enough, we're going to scrape. Start the whizzing process. Takes two hands on this, and you know it's simple. We're not cooking a custard. We're using. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. I'll put the top on. I don't remember the lock it down syndrome. I do. There's a tab. Okay. Somehow I think it goes around that. It says something about a lock on that thing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I think you might need to put the handle in there. No, the handle just drops in. That's some of the thing I don't remember about this and we didn't have time to test it. It shouldn't be able to come off. That's the thing. Yeah, let's just not worry about it. Let's roll with the punches. I think it just, you put that there. Oh. Oh. Of course. Because this needs to line up with this. Alright. And it probably drops in. Huh? Yep. Well, it don't like that either. Well, whatever. Right, let me see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, I understand. Alright. This these edges need to go in and look like the Okay, so how do we make that happen? Maybe it was supposed to be on top when we set it in. I think so. No, it ain't gonna come out. Hank up. Yeah. Oh, it goes in there? It goes on there. Alright. 
So that's an action we didn't figure out. I thought it snapped onto this guy. Okay, can you set that on top of it? It's not gonna like lock in because the pro it's kind of bent. What's well, bent? On that side. Is that going? Cool? I thought it snapped over the top of this. No. Why don't you turn it off for a second? I, I think we're because since we haven't figured this out two or three times, go ahead, Melanie. One. See if you can do it. Somebody's got to hold this thing. Yeah, there's the problem. Matching up the matching up that is there a moment to, not to I'll read it out loud. Place the chilled cylinder in the Dom VA case matching up the triangle marks on the ring mm -hmm. and the outer case to prevent slipping. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a, something on that container that's got a thing on it. Mm-hmm. I know. How long does it sit for? Place the lid on the still thing, uh, doing the same triangle mm -hmm. to the marks on the cylinder. I did ring. that. How long does With it the sit lock for? tab on the lid. Whatever. How long Let me does just it let sit it. For? It says two or three minutes. At 9.09, we'll do it again. What made you want to do it with Cool Whip? Right. Because it's you're not having to do a custard. It's all the frozen stuff is done. That's what somebody else had this showed us how to do it. Really? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pour the blend in. Record realize it's still recording. I'm not, I'm Whatever. Okay, so we've discovered something that this ring has to go on. There's a and you gotta hammer that thing down on that bitch. Okay, now I'll set it on. Now we're going back in to the controls tower. We're gonna put it in sideways because we got a full liquid in there. And so make sure that it's all lined up. Okay. You line up. And there's a so Standard there. There we go. Then. Then this. Go into there. I don't know how to get this in. That's all you gotta do. Poils or monos. We know what we're doing. That, that's all okay, you gotta do. Give me the tank. And the crank, because it's time to crank again. We already done the. Sorry. Can take two hands to do one person's thing. Okay. There you go. No, okay. I just got the, the lock on it. Or some, I don't know, you can hold the top, can you? Hmm. And, and it see, gently and slowly. It seems as though we probably overfilled the container, but that's all right. Okay, that's good. Let it sit and lock. The lock goes this way. Does it? Well, that's the fun about a new product. Instead of testing the whole damn thing out, we we'll give it a run for our money. And always turn forward. If it's too frozen, back it up. Because if you look at this thing, if you have that uh, metal, the inner, whatever you call it, yeah, in the picture, and then you see that plastic goes on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then that goes right in, and then the... Mm -hmm. Weezer doodle though. So it looks like he's holding they are holding that their thumb on the lock. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like that. Much like I'm doing. You hold it here, get your thumb on it, and then we're gonna but now we gotta wait a couple of minutes. And I'm, I'm guessing it takes one cool whip per use. 
in some of the ingredients in the book, it's probably going to tell you how to get your ass straightened out. But here at Poyos Hermanos, since Gus Frain is now gone, Walter White took him out, it is now your friendly Warner family who runs Poyos Hermanos. I understand the lock. And all we're going to do is move it one more time. So once it's gotten almost done, we'll show you what how it turns out. We we tasted it and decided to put the rest of a uh, couple three more tablespoons of berries in. We'll give it a spin. Who wants to spin? Who wants to spin, Ms. Zen? You have the prettiest hands. And it really doesn't take long for this. Oh, there it folded over. That was cool. Should I do four? Sure. It's no problem. It's not going to hurt anything mixing it around because we don't have fully conglomerated mixture. If you're putting in like a custard and it's already blended up, then you're all set. No, we're going to use this and working our uh, paddles and mixing that trash together. This isn't the way to make the frozen, but this is a way to incorporate your ingredients. Yum. Someone said chill, B. It's still totally freezing, and I'm only going to give it a little turn. One. Holds itself over in there. Two. There's not a not a hurried turn. Three. Let it freeze. You'll see it time lapse, won't you? Back after a couple more minutes, frozen. One. It's getting thicker. Top's flying off. Well, that's because I'm left-handed. See, that's half the problem when you're left-handed like I am. Everything's backwards. Should be having the camera over my shoulder and turning it with the left hand, thumb on the right. Well, she just scraping that stuff's getting... Whoa, that stuff's getting hard, boy. We just had a Parp from Murphy's Pizza. We had us a uh, Hawaiian pizza with sausage. Is she pulling away, baby? A couple more minutes, Sid. We're getting close to the end. Okay, I'm trying the backwards hand again. See, that is center frozen cylinder is ultra cold and when it gets to the point where you can tell that it's not folding anymore I'm guessing you're done because she is freezing and you're not going to get a hard ice cream you might get a nice slightly soft serve but it is freezing up we'll give you a top view in just a minute this litter is no more than a 20 minute assembly of Especially if you're going to cook your berries ahead of schedule, like we did. Oh, yeah. Pull that back. Drop it in the cylinder. She's getting just about done. Don't VA. Well, it's looking like we're probably come to the end of it with the Don't VA. I can, since we're not looking at the logo, I can turn it. I'd like you to see what it looks inside. We'll get the shadow out the way. See how it's building up. Scraping off what's frozen. And it's basically all housed around our paddles. You know, and I'm pretty much calling this good. Try going the opposite direction. Opposite direction. Man, that stuff is banging, Jack. But that's the wrong way. 
Well, it says you can go either direction. And that's if it gets too hard, because now it's not going to fold. Now I'd let her sit. See how it scrapes it. This way doesn't scrape it. It works backwards as a paddle hmm. by going up downstream. So it's done? We'll do one more spin, and looky what we got. We got these fancy coffee cups. We're going to put that crap in a jacket. The chubby, coffee. chubby coffee go around the horn I'm pretty sure we're getting to that I know we're not looking for frozen ice cream it's kind of like your frozen yogurt you can make frozen yogurt you can make anything you want with this but boy cuz then and it is built up Jack if you live in the greater Seattle area go check out white cap frozen yogurt exactly it's the bomb. I think it's good, Dad. Yeah, that lump falls in and the bottom paddle pulls it up to the top, just kind of like a washing machine. But I tell you, it could freeze and freeze and freeze. Let's pop this off. I don't know how the... Probably... The, how that berry got put inside. Pop the top off. What do you want, an ice cream scooper? Nah, I'm gonna show you how to do the taste test on a Don VA. This is how you do it. Pollo Sermano style. <laughs> That's silly crazy good. Cause that berry wasn't made sweet like a jam. Now I got jam. And we've effectively relearned how to use something. There are things in our cupboards that we found that we haven't used that we're gonna be using as we get prepared to remodel this kitchen. Cause that's what I used to do as a living. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't need that. Yeah, we do. How is it we gonna get in there? Mm. Gonna, don't you dare use your hands. No, no. Get us the spoon. It's in this. The, I set it in that. Uh, in the sink. That's gross. Mm -hmm. Gotta use this. I got a seed stuck in my tongue, under my tongue. Yeah. Now, if you can see me, I put my face down here like Joe from Southern Coastal Cookie. Uh, so am I online? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Don VA. Frozen dessert maker. It's still freezing. And it's not custard, so it's very low fat. Now, we were watching the show, but I ain't going to go there. That's a full cup. You can put a little mint garnish, a little piece of ding dong on top, but yeah. Hold on, I get a second cup, and then we'll have a taste off. Taste off. Here it is, and one last time, your Dom VA frozen dessert maker. Mm. Can then take a taste test there. Yeah. As well as I. Mm. It is definitely Pollo Sermano style. Wonderful, wonderful dessert, everyone. There's a lot left in there. We're going to put it in a Tupperware container, and where's it going to go? In the freezer? That's right. Not in my stomach tonight. That's a lot like a frozen yogurt. It's a wonderful, wonderful dessert. We'll put a link to where you can find that if it's still out there in the world. If not, better what? luck next time. Better luck next time. From Pollo Hermanos, aka Seattle Mortar's Family Channel. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to tell your friends and family about us. Subscribe to our channel and wait for more videos up and coming. Bye now.